my name is Melissa Hornsbeck and I'm a registered dietitian. Now, a registered dietitian is a scientist who uses food and food science to try and help people, people stay healthy. Dietitians can work in a lot of different places, so we can work here where I work, which is a long-term care facility, which is also known as a nursing home, or we can work in hospitals, we can work at gyms, um, we can work at restaurants, we can work um, for food manufacturers like Stouffer's or Sara Lee um, or McDonald's. We can work for school systems, so every school system or school district will have a registered dietitian who helps with the menu um, and all of your school lunches. We can work at grocery stores um, and give tours. We can work at the health department and um, work for people um, who are on maybe on food assistance like SNAP or WIC um, and help people that way. So um, a dietitian can, can have a lot of different jobs and can do a lot of different things, um, all of which are around food and how food can help people. So here at my job, I work at a long-term care facility, um, which is also a skilled nursing facility, which is two different things. So one of them is long-term care, which is people who live here. This is their home. They had to move here either by themselves or with their spouse because they couldn't take care of themselves anymore. They needed help with certain things. Either they needed help cooking food because they couldn't do that. They needed help maybe, you know, taking a shower or getting dressed. Um, they, need, they needed help. They, they needed to live someplace where people could help take care of them. So they live here and we take care of them. I help take care of them. The nursing staff um, helps take care of them. Um, the, the rehab specialists, um, physical therapists, all of us help to take care of those residents. And then we have our skilled nursing residents. And those are residents who, who don't live here long term. They, they may be here for a short time or a little bit longer, but they're typically a resident who um, has been sick or has gotten hurt. Maybe they had their hip replaced or they broke their hip, or maybe they were really sick and they needed to have some, some medicine in an IV and they needed to stay in a hospital and they're just too weak to go home. They can't take care of themselves yet. They still need some help, but they don't need to be in a hospital anymore. So they come here and we take care of them. We've got our, our physical therapists and our occupational therapists and our speech therapists that work with them to get them stronger, that help them relearn how to do the things that they need to do to take care of themselves at home and make sure that they can eat and drink safely, um, that they don't choke on things. And I work with that too. Um, and what I do is I make sure that the food that they get is going to be helpful to them. That it's going to, um, if they maybe if they have a heart issue, that it's maybe not going to have too much sodium or too much fat in it. Or if they have diabetes, I'm going to make sure it doesn't have too many carbohydrates in it. Or that those carbohydrates are balanced throughout the day. So there's a lot of things that that go through what a dietitian in a long-term or skilled nursing facility can do. So here is a basic rundown of my day is how we're gonna do this. So I come into work and I've got over 140 residents that I follow every single day. And there's certain things that I look for. So when they're a new resident, I first make sure that the doctor has given us a diet order that's let us know, do they need to have a special diet or are they just gonna be on a regular diet? Um, and if they're just gonna be on a regular diet, we need to make sure that um, they know that, so they know that they can order any of the food they want off of our menu. And if they're going to be on a special diet, we need to make sure that they know that, so that they know that the menu that they're going to get to order from is going to be a little bit different. And like I said, some of those diets are because they may have a heart issue or maybe they have diabetes, but some of those diets may be because they can't chew very well. Maybe they have dentures, um, so they can't chew food very well, so they need their food to be cut up into pieces or they need extra gravy added on it so it's easier to chew. Um, or maybe they can't swallow very well. Maybe the muscles in their throat don't work really well. So the speech therapist would work with them on that. Um, and we would make sure that the food that they get is easy to swallow. Maybe it's, um, it's more wet. So maybe it has a gravy added to it or a sauce, or maybe they have a lot of soups and mashed potatoes and things like that. But I also make sure that they're getting a variety of foods because nutrition, comes from variety. 
We get all of our different vitamins and minerals from all different types of foods. You can't just eat one type of food, even if it's really healthy, like blueberries or kale, and be the healthy person. You need to eat a lot of different types of food. You need fruits and vegetables. You need grains and protein. You need um, dairy products or dairy replacement products so you can get calcium and vitamin D in your diet. So we need a lot of different foods to make up a complete meal or a complete daily um, intake. So I make sure that that is how that's working. So when they come in, we see what their diet order is and I go and I talk to them. And I say, this is the diet order that you have. Does that seem right? Um, and they say, yeah, I've got diabetes, so that seems right. And then I ask them the foods they like and the foods they don't like. I ask them if they've lost any weight recently, because sometimes if you lose weight without trying, that can mean that um, there's, especially if you're an older adult, if you lose weight um, for no reason, that can mean there's something else going on. So I ask them if they've lost any weight without meaning to, because um, I want to make sure they're getting enough food because you know they need to make sure they have enough energy to if they're sick or if they've broken something or if they've had surgery that they can get better so then after they've been here the nurses every time they eat will put in how much they've eaten so i follow that and make sure that they're eating you know at least half of the food that we offer them they don't have to eat everything they don't have to clean their plate but I want to make sure that they're eating at least half to make sure they're getting enough energy and enough nutrition. And then I follow their weights. So they're weighed every week. Sometimes they're weighed every day. Um, it kind of depends on what's wrong with them. And we want to make sure that their weight is not changing. Whether that's losing weight or gaining weight, we want them to remain consistent or steady. So, and if they don't, if it changes, then I'll go talk to them and I'll go talk to the nurses and see what we can do to change that. Maybe they've stopped eating so much, so we need to see if we can offer them snacks that they might like better or maybe give them um, a, a drink like a, like a boost or a shake or something like that, like a meal replacement, because maybe they're just not hungry. But they still need some energy and we get our energy from our food. So that's one of the things that I do here. I also will go and talk to residents um, just about nutrition in general, answer their questions, make sure they're getting the right kinds of foods. Um, and I'll work with, um, you know, speech pathologists. I'll work with our occupational therapists and make sure that we're meeting all of the needs of our residents. So that's kind of a picture of what I do um, here at a long-term or skilled nursing facility. Now, dietitians can do a lot of different things in a lot of different places. Um, if you're in school right now, um, your school has a dietitian. Now, your district may only have one dietitian, but if you want any, have any questions about what that dietitian does, I bet if you um, went to your cafeteria and asked um, one of the cafeteria workers if you could you know, meet the dietitian, first of all, that would make that dietitian's day and they would love to meet you and chat with you about what they do. Because when you go into a field like this, when you become a dietitian, you do it because you like it. You do it because you love it. You like talking about food, you like talking to people. Um, so I'm sure that they would be happy to chat with you about anything that um, you wanted to know about what they do. So I hope you learned something today. Um, and if you have any questions, find your local school dietitian and they'll be happy to answer them. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.